ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா ஸோ இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் ஸ்லோக்கா கிருஷ்ணா வாஸ் இன்டைரக்ட்லி க்ளோரிஃபைங் பக்தி பை சேயிங் தட் ஹவு பை வேரியஸ் அதர் ப்ரொசஸஸ் வி கெனாட் ஆக்சஸ் கிருஷ்ணா அண்ட் நவ் இன் ஸ்லோகா நம்பர் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபோர் ஹீஸ் கோயிங் டு எம்பசைஸ் ஆன் வாட் இஸ் தட் ப்ராசஸ் பை விச் வி கேன் ஆக்சஸ் கிருஷ்ணா பை வாட் இஸ் தட் ப்ராசஸ் பை விச் வி கேன் கெட் சாக்ஷாத் தர்ஷன் ஆஃப் கிருஷ்ணா ஸோ இயர் இஸ் கிவன் ஜுனாஜுனா பக்தியா து அனநயா சக்யா ஸோ ஆஃப்டர் டெலிங் தட் நாட் பை வேதிக் ஸ்டடீஸ் நாட் பை எனி ஆஸ்டரிட்டி பெனன்ஸ் சேரிட்டி வர்ஷிப் நவ் இஸ் எஸ் பட் பட் சக்யா இட் இஸ் பாசிபிள் இட் இஸ் பாசிபிள் பை அனநயா பக்தியா இட் இஸ் பாசிபிள் பை அன்டிவைடட் டிவோஷனல் சர்வீஸ் ஒன் பாயிண்டட் டிவோஷனல் சர்வீஸ் வாட் இஸ் பாசிபிள் here he says aham evam vidaha nyatum drashtum cha tatvena i can be understood as i am standing before you and thus can be seen directly so by ananya bhaktiya one can understand krishna and get his sakshat darshan and then finally he says praveshtum cha by in this way by doing ananya bhaktiya what happens one can enter one can praveshtum enter into what the mysteries of my understanding krishna's understanding hmm. so here krishna has made a very very emphatic point in the second last verse of this chapter where he is saying that only by devotional service only by devotional service it is possible shakya it is possible it is possible to understand me it is possible to get my sakshat darshan in this beautiful shama sundar form so in the previous shloka krishna was saying that na vedair na tapasa na danena na cha ijjaya so now let's try to understand how these activities when they have the element of bhakti how no krishna reveals so how these activities can be converted into an activity of devotional service here prabhupada is saying the first thing is talking about that how when we study vedic literatures we cannot understand krishna by by our own speculation let's be very clear we cannot sit you know with lots of books and go through all the books and try to speculate and try to understand krishna no that's not possible in vedic scriptures there are regulative principles those are mentioned and those regulative principles of devotional service should be imbibed in our day to day life and what are the devotional regulative principles ஸ்ரவணம் கீர்த்தனம் விஷ்ணோ ஸ்மரணம் பாதசேவனம் அர்ச்சனம் வந்தனம் தாஸ்யம் சக்கியம் ஆத்ம நிவேதனம் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் த நைன் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் ஆஃப் டிவோஷனல் சர்வீஸ் ஸ்டார்டிங் வித் ஸ்ரவணம் தட் இஸ் வி ஹவ் டு ஹியர் அபவுட் கிருஷ்ணா கீர்த்தனம் வி ஹவ் டு சேண்ட் த ஹோலி நேம்ஸ் சேண்ட் த க்ளோரிஸ் ஆஃப் த லார்ட் விஷ்ணோ ஸ்மரணம் வி ஹவ் டு மெடிடேட் ஆன் த லார்ட் அண்ட் இஸ் க்ளோரிஸ் விஷ்ணோ ஸ்மரணம் பாத சேவனம் வி ஹவ் டு சர்வ் த லார்ட் in various ways archanam we have to worship the lord and you know so many other things are there so we have to apply this in our day to day life many times what happens is people just want to read bhagavad gita that's it but then what is krishna telling who will apply that so if we just read it like a novel what will happen it will remain a novel for us we'll maybe feel good and then we'll say oh i have read bhagavad gita see reading bhagavad gita is not important obviously it is important but that is not the whole and soul that is not all in all but applying the principles of bhagavad gita actually brings in the transformation in the heart so if we really want to see the magic of bhagavad gita then we have to apply the principles of bhagavad gita in our day to day life that is we have to chant the holy names of the lord that is we have to remember the lord so when we when we when we chant the holy names hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare by lord's mercy will be able to remember his threefold bending form will be able to remember his wonderful past times and then 
you know, the other thing that is mentioned in uh, the nine limbs of bhakti, shravanam, kirtanam, and then vishnu smaranam, meditation, and then after that, we have pada sevanam and archanam. So we do some active, practical service to Lord Krishna. So when we read the scriptures and do nothing, then we will not get any realization. So the element of bhakti is what? The element of bhakti in this is, when we read Shastra, we have to engage ourselves in devotional service as given by Krishna in the Vedic literatures. Then our reading or our study of Vedic scriptures becomes successful. It becomes an element of devotional service. Now after that, you know, the next thing that was spoken was na tapasa austerity. Now if we just do dry austerities without any devotional element, then it's a problematic stuff. But then when we fast on the days like Janmashtami, that is the appearance day of the Lord. So many, many people all around the world, they fast on that particular day of Janmashtami till night, 12 o'clock, midnight. And after that, after doing the Maha Arati, then they have Prasad. So that's an austerity, full day without water, a person is fasting. And two times in a month, Ekadashi comes. Ekadashi is called as Hari Vasara. That is a day which is very, very dear to Krishna, a day which is exclusively meant to stay close to Krishna by practicing devotional service. So now these austerities of fasting on such days is not dry, dry uh, austerities. These austerities are full of rasa. Because on those particular days, we stay close to Krishna by practicing devotional service. So these austerities will get us closer to Krishna. Hmm. Other thing that is mentioned is na dane na. Just by doing some charity, it will not help. We need to give charity in the mood of devotion to the people who are practicing devotional service. The current day and age, the most important thing that has to be done is we have to spread this knowledge of Bhagavad Gita. Give the Maha Mantra to as many people as possible. We have to preach these glories. So charity should be given to those people who are doing this particular activity of preaching. Preaching the message of Krishna, preaching the message of chanting the holy names of the Lord. Because that's what is going to save everyone. Everyone in this world. So charity should be given to them. And when we give charity in the mood of devotion to the devotees who are preaching the message of the Lord, what happens? A charity on the material platform is now transformed into a spiritual platform. It becomes an element of devotional service now. So by doing charity, Krishna will be pleased. Charity in this particular way that is mentioned. Hmm. And at last, in the previous shloka, it said, Nacha Ijaya, just by mere worship it will not happen. By mere exchange or uh, mere business with the Lord will not work. Then what will work? Here it is given. That if one worships as prescribed in the temple, that is a chance to progress by offering worship and respect to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So there is a procedure. There is a procedure which is given by which you know, a person, when he use, uh, follows the procedure to worship the Lord, he gets closer to the Lord. And that procedure is done in a very, very selfless mode. So in this way, we understand that all these four activities can be converted to devotional service if we understand properly what has to be done for the pleasure of the Lord and in a selfless mood, unmotivated, uninterrupted mood. So in this way, when a person does these activities in the devotional service, yes, then we can say, yes, he's doing devotional service, so he will get Saksha Darshan of the Lord, he will be able to understand the Lord. Hmm. Very nicely here it is given, a very nice shloka from Shvetashvatara Upanishad. Yascha deve para bhaktir, yatha deve tatha guru, tasya ite katitahi artha prakashante mahatmanaha. One who has unflinching devotion for Supreme Lord and is directed by the spiritual master, in whom he has similar unflinching faith, can see the Supreme Personality of Godhead by revelation. One cannot understand Krishna by mental speculation, for one has to take personal training under guidance of bona fide spiritual master. It is possible. It is impossible to even begin to understand Krishna. So this is a very important point for sadhakas like all of us. See, to understand Krishna, we cannot do it by our own self. We need a spiritual master. A bona fide spiritual master is connected to a bona fide sampradaya, one of the four sampradayas. So when we take training from him, since he is realized, since he has attained Krishna, since he takes darshan of Krishna, 
he knows how to guide and he will guide us properly so under his guidance following his instructions as it is we have the probability or we have a great chance to attain the same level what the spiritual master is in so in devotional service this at uh, this important point matters a lot that are we practicing devotional service under the guidance of the spiritual master or not if not then we'll have tough time we'll be doing something some result will come but we'll not be able to reach the ultimate destination but when we are under the guidance of a spiritual master then it is possible he will train us he will train us to do unmotivated uninterrupted devotional service and that training is very very important for all of us that training will convert our selfish mood into selfless mood without that training we'll always remain selfish always remain selfish and here it is said therefore one should conclusively worship the personal form of krishna as supreme personality of godhead who has eternal bliss and knowledge he is the source of all forms of vishnu he is the source of all forms of incarnation and he is the original supreme personality as confirmed in bhagavad gita so everywhere whichever bona fide scripture we take it's very clearly mentioned that who is supreme personality of godhead it is krishna be it brahma samhita or be it uh, bhagavad gita itself where krishna is saying matta parataram nanyat and the supreme personality of god there is no one above me bhagavatam says asama urdhva there is no one equal to krishna there is no one greater than krishna arjuna is saying after hearing from krishna after realizing krishna's position arjuna is saying param brahma param dhama pavitram paramam bhavan oh you are the greatest you are the supreme so in this way krishna is the supreme personality of godhead so when we worship krishna with an unmotivated uninterrupted way with proper mood of devotional service under the guidance of the spiritual master then yes krishna will reveal himself to us by his own sweet will and then we'll be able to understand krishna we'll be able to take sakshat darshan of krishna till then it's not possible <laughs> till then it's not possible so in this way krishna is very wonderfully glorified devotional service we can imagine krishna has spoken so many things till now the first six chapters of bhagavad gita 